Um, I'm going to shut my phone off so that doesn't ring again. This going to be candid editing here. You, my name is Umberto Cranker. I'm primarily a visual artist, but I have a band, also play music. I play a number of instruments. I've done performance art, I've done monologues, I've done all kinds of stuff. But right now, mostly focus on visual art. I was uh, um, in grammar school and I was in trouble all the time. I mean all the time. And uh, a nun challenged me to do some drawings and she challenged me by saying, oh, you wouldn't be interested in doing this and walk by me. And she wanted me to take these drawings she had in a book of uh, elves and she wanted me to make them bigger for the blackboard decoration. She didn't want me to do it. She actually didn't think I would be interested. And I told her, come back here, I'll do that. And I stayed up all night doing it. And then it was an aha moment for her because she realized, oh, I'll give my projects to do them. Maybe I can distract them from being disruptive in class. Um, and from that point on, I had an appetite for it. We lived in an unheated building. We were operating illegally. Uh, we were living in the building illegally. I was washing dishes. We had kerosene heaters to heat the place. It was freezing in the winter. It was fabulous. It was fabulous because we knew we were doing something. We were doing something. And the, and the basic values of the organization, the idea that we valued everybody's expression and we we're going to try to provide opportunity for anybody and everybody to be able to express themselves, those are pretty powerful ideas, as simple as they are. So we were driven. Like mad, way we were, were a little mad, maybe. We were a little crazy. God only knows we never could have anticipated what it grew into. We're just, you know, having a simple idea that to create a place where anybody and everybody was welcome, where the artistic process and the, and the and natural creativity of every individual is being honored and respected. Not selected like someone's better than somebody else, or special, or their artwork is more valuable than, no, none of that bullshit valuing everybody's uh, expression. You know, every one of us, you guys sitting here, you got a lot of stuff going on inside your brain there. You have a lot of feelings, you have a lot of experiences, you have a lot to say, and that's true of every single kid in this building. Province was an amazing city, and then it whoosh, hit bottom. And now it's on this incredible, it is a renaissance. Now, the question is, who gets to play? The people who live here, poor people in this community, and people who have been marginalized historically, do they get an opportunity to participate in this fabulous new experiment of Providence? And how do we make sure that people, everybody's included in this, and in this conversation, they get to participate in this, you know? Um, and that's a challenge, and that's what we always have to be vigilant about, making sure that everybody gets a shot at it, you know? So that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. <laughs>